Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about personal development. Personal development is something that is very, very important to you as a trader and to you in your general life. It really refers to becoming the best version of yourself. Know from the start that trading is a lifestyle and a personal journey. It's something that's going to take up a lot of your time and effort. And in order to succeed at it, you need to actually be the best version of yourself that you can. If you want to succeed long term, you definitely need to work on yourself, develop your mind, uh, develop everything about yourself, become the master of your mindset and the master of your own life. So let's actually dive right into it now. We are going to talk about what I believe is a very important thing to do and something that I see lots and lots of traders going through, and that is deprogramming. So I don't want to get all conspiracy theory on you and I'm not going to, so don't worry. But what we're going to talk about is um, basic society and how you can actually deprogram yourself from that whole system and reprogram your mind for success in your personal life. So understanding the program without being too conspiracy theory, most people are programmed into the system. We are essentially domesticated from birth by our family and by authority. And we are given these subliminal expectations from society and school. Now, I'm not saying that we are conditioned uh, by aliens that run the world. <laughs> I'm not talking about anything like that. But if you think about society, you think about the society that we live in. We have these expectations that form straight away into the world, right? No bad doing from our family, no bad doing from authority. But what it is, is um, just something subliminal that worms its way into the mind of everyone. This whole go to school, go to university, get a job, work the job, get a house, pay that house off, etc., etc. This whole system that so, so many people do, this societal system, builds a subliminal expectation and a subliminal way of life into everyone's head. And now that is why the majority of people are doing the same thing and the majority of people are doing this. So that's the program that I'm talking about that we are all programmed into. It includes working a job for someone else generally, exchanging your time for money, filling your spare time with unproductive entertainments, so watching sports when you're off work, playing video games in, in your evenings. And essentially poisoning your body with drugs if you are the party type, alcohol too, if you're going out to the bar every weekend to get drunk and forget about the week of unenjoyable work that you just had. And junk food. Now, something that's really, really sad about the modern day world is junk food, fast food, all the chemicals in the food, all these, these, the fact that you can go out to so many fast food chains and not even find a salad, right? I'm not saying you have to eat salad all the time, but the fact there's so much junk food about there is not, there's, you know, there's no healthy options as such like that. Now, of course you can eat healthy, but it takes a bit more effort. Now, junk food is essentially what's on hand. And so many people just stuff their bodies with this and essentially poison their body. So these are general things that most people do. They spend their time working for someone else to um, get money. They then spend their spare time essentially wasted, you know, watching sport, playing video games, watching TV. Now, I am not undermining working a job. It's completely fine. Working a job is good. If you enjoy your job, that's great too. I'm not undermining watching sports and playing video games. Play as many video games as you want. Watch as much sport as you want. Sit in front of the TV for hours on end if you want. However, be prepared to not progress too far unless you also, or instead of, put the time into progressing yourself, okay? And poisoning your body with drugs, alcohol, and junk food. You know, tone it down. <laughs> think, about, think about your long-term health. Think about the effect that this might be having on your mind and your success as well. So do these things sound familiar? Are these things that you do? Do you exchange your time for money? Do you spend a lot of time wasted on valueless entertainment? And do you have a tendency, whether you like it or not, to actually poison your body in one of these ways? Think about that for a minute.
And if it is, just uh, think about how you can actually, you know, begin to change that. For most, formal education is the final education taken. Now, what I mean about this is school, college, apprenticeships, university. These are the things we do before we move into a job, exchanging our time for money. And after that, we generally don't educate ourselves on anything else since then. So if you finished school and went straight into a job, chances are that's the final education you're going to have. Well, not everyone, right? This is the general. Uh, if you finished school, you moved on to college. And then when you finished college, you went and got a job, then chances are that college is going to be the final education you get involved in. The same goes for apprenticeships and university, right? We see these formal education paths as um, the way to go. And as soon as that's done, we are in the real world. That's it, right? We're done with our education. Isn't that how it is? Well, for many, it is. Yeah. And very few people actually work on themselves in their own life and work to develop themselves, develop their mind after this formal education is finished. Most people from there just drift through life, a lot of the time not even really knowing what they want from life, just passing the time between work and between the entertainment that they go through, the, uh, you know, essentially time wasted. If you want to become a trader, this is generally not okay, right? This um, no education, this wasted time, it's not really okay. To be a trader, as we've said, you do have to be on top of your mind. You have to be on top of your mindset. And that means mastering yourself, right? Now, what this means is a lot of personal education, personal development. Work your job. That's great. Put effort into it if you are working a job, okay? Don't allow trading to, to know, ruin that for you, ruin a career for you, anything like that. Um, and don't give up your entertainment. Don't sacrifice your entire social life, your entire fun, um, thinking that you need to, you know, become some form of magical, a uh, you know, trading robot who cannot have fun. Fun is now banned. All we can do is stare at charts. Now, don't think that, right? You can enjoy life. Now, the whole reason of trading for many people, including myself, is to develop freedom so that I've got more time to do what I want to do. I personally don't play too many video games. I don't really watch too much sport. I do do other things. But if those are the things that you want to do, that is the whole reason you're here, or at least probably one of the reasons you're here, so that you've got more time to actually spend doing what it is you want to do. So don't feel like you have to give everything up. I mean, if you like drinking, if you like junk food, go for it. But moderation, okay? You need that moderation, discipline, all these things to actually master your mindset. And that's within and without of trading. So remember the core principles that we spoke about earlier in the course as well. You are the master of your own journey. You are the one that needs to put the work in to get the work out. And self-mastery is total mastery. Whereas we mean if you can master yourself, you can master the discipline and you can master your own mindset, you are going to master other areas of your life, be it trading, relationships and other things. So think about what we've spoken about just in that deprogramming section. Think about any of the things where you might fall short, right? Do you put too much time into uh, entertainment and you don't put enough time into progressing your skills? Do you put your all into a job for somebody else and that burns you out and you don't have the time to put the work and the time into work for yourself, the trading, education, the business that you want to work on, anything like this? And um, are you spending too much time drinking alcohol, taking drugs, smoking cigarettes, poisoning your body, poisoning your mind, when really you should tone that down, build a healthier lifestyle, build a healthier version of yourself? Now, I don't know if any of you might be healthy eaters or exercisers, um, but if you are, you're going to know how that actually really helps you to stay positive, to stay pumped. Now, I do exercise, meditation, and healthy eating generally. Um, I will say, yep, sometimes I will go out and eat too much junk food. I will eat too much food sometimes, but um, obviously that's not going to kill you. But overall, I do try to keep on top of all of those things because that is really giving you a clearer mind and keeping you active and ready to go every day. So think about these things. Think about the areas where you need to deprogram your mind from the usual, from the norm, and actually reprogram it into a better mindset for yourself, for your relationships, for your life, and for your trading. So essentially, we want to replace our bad habits with good ones. Refocus your time on productivity. Set time a day, set time aside each day for personal development work. Now, whether that is working on your trading, working on a business, 
uh, reading a book, working on your general knowledge, your general outlook on life. Set some time aside each day. Yep. Do your entertainment, do your job, put your all into everything that you enjoy so far in life. But also give yourself a bit of time every day to actually work on developing yourself outside of all that. Okay. Because that's what you're going to need to do to work successfully as a trader. If, like I said earlier on, your education finished at formal education, so after school, university, college, um, apprenticeship, you stopped educating, that was it, begin educating yourself again, right? Read books, watch shows with, you know, successful entrepreneurs or mindset, you know, mindset people, philosophy, uh, all these different things you can actually educate yourself with. Now, what I've got here is a list of what I would say are the top four books to actually go and read from the start. Now, if you haven't read these, definitely go read them. Make a note of this for sure. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is essentially an outlook changer. It changes your outlook on the world of work and um, the world of finance and the, the ways that, you know, generally with trading, we have to view things like the Rich Dad in the book. And um, most people will see the world as the Poor Dad in the book. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad is definitely a good book to go and read for a start, a starting point in a financial education. Think and Grow Rich is just amazing. That's a great book. That's going to rewire your mind for, you know, okay, riches in wealth, but not even just for that, for actually becoming rich in all areas of your life, um, you know, abundant in soul and wealth, whatever it is you might be looking to do. So Think and Grow Rich, I do recommend that one. The idea of a mastermind group is also very, very interesting. Four Agreements. Now, this one is really, really good. Looks at four different areas of um, your mind and life. And Trading Beyond the Matrix is a great one because this really dives into the psychology of trading specifically. So that's quite a long book, but if you can dig into that, that's definitely going to set you ahead if you actually learn to view the market through the matrix that it is from the start. So definitely go check those four books out. A uh, good starting point for you if you do need to get re-educating. Now, if you're going to start reading books, which I highly recommend you do, you don't need to start out mega. If you think, I'm never going to read, I hate reading um, I'm here to learn to trade. I'm not here to to listen to your book recommendation. I'm not here to, you know, start reading books. Now, that's fine. But I think as you get further into your journey and see how important psychology is, this is something that you're going to get drawn to. So I do recommend just give it a go. Get those books. Try a page, 10 minutes of reading every day. Uh, it's going to bring you, you know, you're probably going to get into it. You're probably going to see the benefits that it can bring by actually re-educating your mind. And hopefully then that actually pushes you to read more and more. So give it a go, see what you think, hopefully, and probably you're going to enjoy that. So re-education, starting to get re-educated again is the first way to reprogram your mind. Now, clean living is the next one. This is a big one. As I've said, healthy eating and exercise makes you feel um, so much better day to day, gives you energy, gives you focus, clarity, and keeps you pumped to actually work on your goals. This includes, of course, the healthy eating side of things, cutting the poison, right? Drink less alcohol, stop smoking cigarettes if you do. Uh, if you take drugs, stop taking drugs. You know, cut the poison and um, and stop that. <laughs> Meditation. Now, this is a big one as well. Not everyone is going to want to do this. I'm not saying you have to become um, a meditating pro to master trading, but something I do myself, and I know a lot of successful people do, and it does, does help. Now, there are actually scientific uh, research to suggest that meditation actually rewires your neural pathways, right? It literally reshapes your brain. It can improve your awareness. It really improves your stress management and your ability to stay calm. And it increases alpha brainwave activity, which keeps you learning and progressing. So you can, you can learn more about this. I'm not going to talk too much about this. I don't want to talk your head off in this video. I'm just setting you up with some good ways to reprogram your mind for success in and outside of the markets. So main takeaways from this video then, get your old bad habits and turn them into new habits, right? Develop new ways of working, improve your health, uh, you know, cut the poison, start exercising, start eating healthier, practice meditation, give it a go. You might hate it, you might love it. Read some books, get educated. And if you really are feeling like pushing yourself into the deep end of this personal development, even consider visiting some seminars uh, if that is your thing. So those are essentially my tips to refocus your mind. So hopefully then this video, this personal development video has provided you with some value. 
Hopefully you've seen now, if you were feeling programmed into that system, if the start of this video is very familiar to you, you can actually go ahead now and uh, have a go at reprogramming your mind to a new way of viewing the world, a new way of viewing life. So in the next video, we're going to conclude this psychology chapter. We've spoken about emotions. We've spoken about reprogramming your mind and developing yourself personally. And uh, we are just going to conclude that next in the next video with a few more tips and pointers before we move into the actual trading side of things. Now, this chapter was so, so important to have at the start of the course. It's been a lot of talking. It's been a lot of actually, you know, just providing you with information. Um, and it's definitely something that you need to work on. Um, yep, it's not so trading related, but uh, well, it, it is, right? It might not seem it right now, but it is. It really is super, super heavily important towards your trading. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one when we're going to conclude this psychology chapter before we really dive into the trading learning.